We're learning new details tonight about the deadliest attack on law enforcement in nearly a decade. Four officers were killed and four others wounded as shots rang out when they tried to serve a warrant in Charlotte, North Carolina. CBS's Dave Malkoff has more on the fallen officers. Police say 39-year-old Terry Clark Hughes, armed with an AR-15 rifle and a 40 caliber handgun, opened fire from an upstairs window of a house. As a U.S. Marshals Task Force attempted to execute an arrest warrant for him at a Charlotte, North Carolina house on Monday afternoon, several officers immediately came under fire as others rushed in to help. To me, that's truly heroic when you hear the gunshots and the rapid fire and they're running directly into it because they know that there are people that need help. Hughes then attempted to leave the house and was shot dead. Two women were eventually taken into custody after an hours long standoff. Neither has been charged. Tonight, we are learning more about the four officers killed. Deputy Marshal Thomas Weeks, who leaves behind a wife and four kids. William Alden Elliott and Sam Pelosi, both 14 year veterans of the State Department of Corrections and Joshua Iyer, a CMPD police officer who died later at the hospital. DeMonte White knew Officer Iyer. He was the school police officer who inspired him to serve. You know, when danger strikes, just like any other officer, he's gonna get out there. Today, remnants of the chaos remain. The house partially destroyed and covered in bullet holes. And a solemn procession carrying the fallen to their resting place. You know, the last few days of It's just been very tough. I got to tell you, it was moving in that room when Chief Jennings was remembering his friend. The chief was just with Officer Iyer when he awarded him as Officer of the Month for April. And Nora, he leaves behind a wife and a three-year-old boy. It is just devastating. Dave Malkoff, thank you so much.